Vita Shankar. I'm a lecturer of Computer Science and Technology Department in Kingston Educational Institute. I'm from Kolkata, India. In today's presentation, I'm going to discuss about skeletonization. I will show you different skeletonization techniques and their outcomes. So, first of all, we need to know thinning. What is thinning? Thinning is a morphological operation which is used to produce a simplified yet topologically equivalent image. And the end product of this thinning is skeleton. Now, what are the needs of this thinning technique? It reduces the amount of data to be produced and which in turn reduces the processing time. It preserves the connectivity and topology. It is very much useful for shape analysis and pattern recognition. Now, what are the desired properties of the thinning algorithm? Uh, it should be connectivity, preservation, consistency, should be there in topology. Centeredness, media line approximation, thinness, and minimal boundary noise. So, this is the classification of thinning algorithms. We have iterative and non iterative. In iterative, we have sequential and parallel. Sequential means the number of pixels to be deleted in any iteration depends on all the previous iteration which we have done. And in parallel, means uh, the pixels to be deleted in any iteration depends only on the last iteration that is only on the n minus 1 iteration. In parallel we have directional, subfield and fully parallel. Directional means the iteration should be subdivided into number of sub iteration based on some directional parameter. Subfield means the picture is divided into different subfields and the pixels of same field will be removed parallelly. Uh, next one is fully parallel. Fully parallel means the same deletion criteria has to be applied in each iteration. Now in non-iterative we have match and some other techniques also. Match means medial axis transformation. What is medial axis? It is the locus of all the, all the centers of the disk, all the maximal disk that we can draw inside the figure. So let's start with ZS algorithm. ZS algorithm is a parallel thinning algorithm and works in two sub iteration. These are the iterations. Uh, SP is the number of 0, 1 pattern in the order set from P2 to P9 and N of PI is the number of non-zero neighbors of PI. PI is the pivot pixel. Here we can see P1 that is a pivot pixel and these are the eight neighbors. The performance of ZS algorithm 2 cross 2 squares are completely erased and this exact line which left with two pixel width horizontal line. Now we have LW algorithm, only the difference is instead of two we are using three. This is the performance of LW algorithm, the zigzag line remains intact. We have HSCP algorithm, this is a method and this is the performance of HSCP algorithm. The black dots in the second image is the actual image after the skeletonization process. We have ZW algorithm. Here we are using 16 neighbors concept. The performance, it will remove all the patterns which are removed by ZS algorithm. Moreover, two pixel with horizontal and vertical lines problems are still there. We have G to H algorithm is a performance. After the first iteration, uh, there you can find some extra points, and after the second iteration, it breaks the connectivity. We have JC algorithm, which actually depends on this deletion and retain templates. We have Hilch algorithm. This algorithm can produce connected one pixel thin image, but Two pixel wide slant lines and two cross two squares will be completely erased by this algorithm. We have PESH algorithm where we are using some 
negativity values also. We have HLR algorithm where we are actually uh, dividing it into different uh, elimination groups. In each elimination group, we are assigning some weightage value and it has different elimination rules. Here we can see the performance of this HLR algorithm. Now we have KWK algorithm. This performance of KWK algorithm you can see. We have AW algorithm which have, uh, we have HWL algorithm. We have FXPG algorithm. You can see its performance. We have JK algorithm. Jagnaz algorithm. BSG algorithm. Now it comes the other part. It's the non-iterative one. Here we have transfer analogy, maximal test, that is MAT, which I have explained earlier. We have region distance transformation. We have medial axis from path-based distance transformation. We have constructive medial axis generation. Medial axis based screening for character set. Selection point, skeleton point detection by slope change. Extended brass fire transform. We have skeleton based on matter as well as symmetry information. We can have dynamic and competitive skeletons also. Now here you can see the comparative study of different skeletonization algorithms which I have already applied. I have used these references. So you can find some more information in my paper. You can go through that. And if you have any query, any doubt, I have given my mail ID and my phone number. You can contact me.